everybody, my name is Jenna and today I am doing the Guardians of the Galaxy book tag. This tag was created by G Swizzle over on the channel G Swizzle Books. I will leave a link to her video and her channel in the description box below. She was actually the one who tagged me to do this and she tagged me ages ago when the movie came out. So, you know, like the second movie, not the first movie. If it was the first movie and I was only just now doing the tag, that's that would be a crime. But yes, yeah, so it was the second film that she tagged me to do this tag, so I'm doing it now. I kind of struggle coming up with answers for these questions, but my friend and I did it while we were in class and now I have answers so I'm going to share them all with you right now once I check a snapchat from Casey so question number one Star Lord an unlikely hero for this question I'm going with Nessa from The Call by Peter Ogulin Nessa is a 14 year old girl who I have to say again did not pick that she was 14 like I thought she was 17 at least basically Nessa is 14 years old she is born with a crippled leg and because of this everyone thinks she's going to die because in The Call basically all teenagers between the ages of like 13 and 18 ish basically the Hunger Games reaping they at any moment in time could be called into a place called the Greyland which is controlled by the fairies and basically when you get there you spend 24 hours in the Greyland but back in the human world it is only three minutes three and a half minutes three minutes three minutes and basically you try to survive and you know not die so everyone thinks that Nessa is going to die obviously but she turns out to be this really unlikely hero which you just don't expect she pulls off some incredible stuff and if you haven't read this book I highly highly recommend it because because it is creepy AF. I read it for Halloween last year and I'm planning on reading the sequel for Halloween this year. I mean, look at that cover. It has skulls on the cover. Like, what? Question number two, Gamora, a lethal weapon of a character. I really don't think you can choose any other character for this question, but Selena Sardothian from the Throne of Glass series. Keeping in mind, I have only read Throne of Glass, Assassin's Light, and Crown of Midnight, so that is all I have to go on. I haven't read anything further, so just pretend that what's further doesn't exist, because in my mind it doesn't. And in these first three books, I definitely, well, first two books and the Binary novella, I definitely see Selena as being this really kick-ass lethal weapon sort of character. She's literally an assassin, so, you know, I wouldn't want to get into a fight with her in a dark alley or any time or really I wouldn't want to meet her I'd be too scared. Question number three Drax the Destroyer, an unpredictable character For this one I'm going with Mara Dyer from the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer trilogy and honestly she is the most unpredictable character ever not only is she an unreliable narrator because she is possibly the most unreliable narrator I've ever had the pleasure of reading a book from but she is so unpredictable she doesn't even know what it is she can do so like you're sort of reading and all of a sudden something will happen and you'll go whoa Mara was that you? Was that not you? no one knows and because of that she is so ridiculously unpredictable but it's a really good read and again y'all should read it because it's so good. Question number four, Rocket Raccoon, a character with killer strategies. I'm gonna have to say Cassie Sullivan from the Fifth Wave trilogy in this one so while I'm not the biggest fan of how the trilogy wrapped up, this first book is phenomenal. I still think it is an incredible book. I love it so much and Cassie in this book, basically she spends the entire time just wanting to find her brother and she ends up meeting up with these characters and they form this plot to sort of go into this facility and break her brother out but the way she does it and the way she strategizes is just so good she's so clever and then that sort of carries on into books two and three as well like I said wasn't a big fan of how the series wrapped up I thought it was kind of a weak ending to the series but all the way through it Cassie had these amazing strategies of how she was going to do what it was she needed to do and I just I mean bravo Cassie Question number five, Groot, a badass character with a big heart. I have to say Nikes from the Midoran Chronicles. <sighs> If you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that I am absolutely obsessed with this series and you will know that in this book we meet my favourite character of all time, Nyx. In this book, and honestly, he's got such a big heart and, you know, I love him so much and he's so badass because he does such cool things and he sacrifices so much for Alex and I love him and I love everything about him. He has the biggest heart, he's a badass character. If you haven't yet read this series, please do because then you get to meet Nyx and you get to fangirl about him with me and I, I just love him so much. Question number six. Mantis, a friendly and powerful side character. So I'm cheating a little bit with this question and I'm going with side characters. And for that I have to say more Asriel and Cassian from the A Court of Mist and Fury series. Well, technically it's the Akatar series but you meet them in A Court of Mist and Fury and then again in Akawar. And honestly they are the best side characters ever! Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Like when you're reading the book, the first time you meet them you're just kind of like, what is happening? Who are these people? Like we just spent an entire book in the Spring Court and now where are we? What is happening? I don't know what to do. And then you meet these characters and you're like, oh my goodness, they're so cute, they're adorable and they're so bad 
fast and awesome and I just love them so much. They are so powerful. They help Reese and Feyre. Oh my god, I forgot her name for a second. Yeah, they help Reese and Feyre so much and I just love everything about them and yeah, I want to be part of their gang. Question number seven, Nebula. A character that puts their mission before their family. This question I am going with Cyrus Ironwood from the Passenger Duology. Now Cyrus is technically the antagonist in this series because he is the one who is looking for the... God, what is it that Edda and Nicholas are looking for? And basically he sacrifices so many members of his own family to go and do it. He sacrifices his grandson, he renounces his granddaughter's family. He is a bad dude who definitely puts his mission before his family. Which is even worse because he doesn't even go out and do this stuff for himself. He makes other people do it which like makes him even more of a bad character. And yeah, I don't like him at all really. And then question number eight, Yondu, the annoying character that you don't have the books falling. And question number eight, Yondu, the annoying character that you just can't help but love. I think I've got a seriously unpopular opinion about this answer because I love this character, like a lot. I love them, but everyone else hates them. And again, I've only read the first couple books in the series, but I love them. And that is Kale Westfall from the Throne of Glass series. Now, keeping in mind, I have only read books one and two, okay? So I don't know what mischief he gets up to in books three onwards, but I love Kale in these first two books. I love him so, so, so much. And yes, okay, he was a little bit annoying, but I love him and I don't want to keep reading because like my friends keep saying, Jenna, to keep reading the series, you have to get over your love for Kale. And I'm like, I don't want to get over my love for Kale. I love Kale. And Kale's getting his own novel. So clearly he must be a pretty awesome damn character to get his own novel. I'm just saying. So you guys, that was the Guardians of the Galaxy book tag. Thank you so much, G, for tagging me in this one. I had a lot of fun coming up with these answers, although shout out to Emily for coming up with most of them. I'm not going to tag anybody simply because I A don't know who she has and hasn't tagged because I never bothered to do my research and B it's been a while and C I don't like tagging people because it's hard to think up people who aren't my normal people to tag. So basically if you want to do this tag feel free. Leave a link to your video in the description, well in the comment section below so I can see it. I would love to watch them. That sentence so got away from me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what some of your answers to these questions were and also what you thought of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie. I would love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random!